Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now these questions, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this episode, I will point you in the direction for some more in-depth videos if you're interested. The focus this week is, drum roll, equation editor. All right, world changers, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, this is your problem for the week. It's an equation editor type of problem. So go ahead and pause the video and try to solve this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, come on back to check your work. All right, fifth grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and tackle this one. So it says to find the difference of 109 and 5 tenths minus 23 and 976 thousandths. Now you might be saying, what's this other decimal right there? It's not really a decimal at the end there. It is just a period to close out the statement. So we need to go ahead and find the difference. Well, it's important to know what that word means. What does it mean to find the difference? What operation are we doing? Yeah, we're subtracting, right? And we kind of get that clue over here too because there is a subtraction sign there, but sometimes they might not put it there. So you do need to know that finding the difference in math means to subtract. So I do notice right away that my first number goes to the tenths place and my second number goes to the thousandths place. So I need to remember that when I add or subtract with decimals, I need to line up those decimals, okay? Line up those decimals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the decimals together right here like this, just to make sure they're nice and lined up. And then I'm going to place 109 right there and kind of spread it out to make it easier for me to work. And that five goes in the tenths place. And then the next one, I've got a three in the ones, a two in the tens, a nine in the tenths place, a seven in the hundredths place, and a six in the thousandths place, and we're finding the difference, so I'm subtracting. Now, before I begin subtracting, what else should I do with this problem? Yeah, place some zeros right here in the hundredths place and the thousandths place. There is no value there, so it's okay to place zeros. And now I can subtract. I'm gonna change my colors just to make it easier to see. And I'm gonna start in the thousandths place. So zero thousandths minus six thousandths, well, I need to regroup, right? But if I look over here in the hundredths place, I don't have any digits to take from to regroup over into the thousandths. So let's go to the tenths place. There is a digit five there. I can take one of those tenths and regroup it. So now I have 10 hundredths. And because I have 10 hundredths, I can regroup Take one of those and regroup one of those hundredths over into the thousandths place. So now I can subtract. 10 thousandths minus six thousandths is four thousandths. Nine hundredths minus seven hundredths is what? Two hundredths. Four tenths minus nine tenths is? I need to regroup, right? So let's go over to the ones place. We'll regroup, take one of the ones and regroup it over here. So now it's 14 tenths minus nine tenths, which is five tenths. Don't forget to bring down your decimal. That's right. Cool. Now we have eight ones minus three ones is five ones. Zero tens minus two tens. I need to regroup. So I'll take one from the hundreds place and turn that into 10 tens. 10 tens minus two tens is eight tens, and zero hundreds minus nothing is nothing. So my answer, my difference, or our difference, is 85 and 524 thousandths. Now I think that you could either type your answer up here in the equation editor using your, your keyboard, or you could actually punch in the number by clicking the digit eight, five decimal then for the your behind the decimal click the five again the two and the four and when you do that 
it will write or compute your answer right up here. Just like that. Just make sure you have a decimal right there, okay? All right, that is how you solve this problem. Go ahead and pause the video or rewind if you need to take any notes. And then let's close out this video. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You've got to throw down your best effort each and every time. And you know that I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers.